When it comes to camera lenses, we'll often make purchasing decisions based on things like focal length and maximum aperture, perhaps whether it's an L series professional lens or not. But there is something else that we need to understand in order to make a conscientious purchasing decision that might be right for our needs for a lens. So yeah, today we're gonna to be talking about the focusing motor inside of Canon's lenses. And there are typically three types of focusing motor that you will find inside of Canon's cameras lenses. And these are a DC focusing motor, an STM focusing motor, and a USM focusing motor. And knowing what each of these does and the purposes that it is best suited for might help you to make a better decision when it comes to buying and purchasing lenses for the specific use that you might have for them. Now to start off this discussion, I should say that whether it's a DC, a USM or an STM, these things don't necessarily impact image quality. Now they do impact how your camera lens focuses and that will have a knock on effect to the amount of keepers that you get. But in respect to physical image quality, these three things don't make a difference. However, typically you will find the first of the motors that we'll discuss, which is the DC motor. So this is a direct drive motor and you'll tend to find these on Canon's beginner range of lenses. These direct drive motors are the cheapest to produce, but they're also the clunkiest type of focusing system that Canon uses. They're the loudest type of focusing system that Canon uses. They'll typically require the front element to so the front of your lens to move to shift in and out of the lens um, and also to move in a circular motion, which makes using things like filters on the front of your lens quite difficult. So if your lens doesn't have a USM or an STM designation printed on that front barrel, then there's a good chance that what it is is a DC motor. Now next up in the range are STM motors. Now STM stands for stepping motor. An STM motor is designed to be fairly quiet. These are really good lenses for video uh, because they have smooth transitions. They focus quite a lot slower than USM lenses, which means that when you are transitioning for things like video, rather than being a snappy focus, which for video just doesn't work very well at all, it's quite disconcerting. Uh, these are smooth focusing lenses, but with that comes a slower type of focus. Now I'm using an STM lens. I've got a Canon 40 millimeter STM on which I'm recording with today. And as I move closer and further away, that is quite a smooth transition. That's there in the end, and now me, and it's gonna take a little bit of a while, there we go. You can see there, it just takes a few seconds, but it's really smooth. And so for video, these lenses are really, really good. Uh, they also work really well for photography as well. Uh, they are really, really quiet. So on the video now, you won't be able to have heard that lens move at all. Whereas if I was to use a, a different type of lens, perhaps a USM, certainly with a DC motor. Uh, all you would be hearing right now on the microphone is clunking and movement of the lens itself. So STM is really where you wanna be looking if you're looking to do video with your lenses. But if you are an out and out photographer and you really want fast focus for fast moving subjects and you want it to be quick and snappy, then an ultrasonic motor, a USM designation is what you want to be looking for. USM motors are generally found on Canon's top of the line lenses. Uh, these are super quick at fi finding focus, quick, super quick at achieving and attaining and retaining focus. The downside to that is if you are using one for video, you won't get those smooth transitions. It is super snappy because that's its designation is a USM ultrasonic motor is to find focus as quickly as possible. And whilst they are louder than their STM counterparts, they're fairly quiet. It's still a lot quieter than you would find in the DC 
motor. And another one of the benefits of USM as opposed to STM is that quite often with STM motors, uh, the manual focusing ability isn't there all the time. You have to physically switch off autofocus in order to fine tune manual focus. However, with USM on pretty much all of Canon's USM lenses, uh, you'll be able to fine tune by manually focusing even if you're in autofocus and the camera won't fight you on it. Well, I hope this explained the different focusing motors in Canon camera lenses well enough for you. If so, give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see some lens reviews from Canon, then this playlist here is, well, it's full of them. And I'll see you on one of those pretty soon.